Emotions do not outweigh obedience. God is the one who has created certain laws and standpoints by which we should operate, and he does that in order not to restrain us, but to protect us. And God's commandments are for our best benefit. When we go outside of God's will, there's always destruction. When we do not obey God's word, there is always an inner uh, turmoil that is taking place by which we don't feel peaceful at all in what we're doing. We don't feel like we are following in the way of God. We, we feel distraught. We always feel like we're hiding something. We always feel the need to have to hide something because we are doing things that we don't want to, to have publicized. Whether that's in our mind, whether that's in our pursuits, what we're doing behind the computer, what we're doing with other people when our parents aren't around or other people aren't around, where we're going when no one is, is seeing us, even though God is omnipresent and he sees all things. We need to be very careful in the places we're going, the things we're doing, the things we're thinking, and the ways in which we are pursuing after. And it doesn't matter how we feel. Our emotions are continually going back and forth, back and forth. And depending upon someone's maturity, it, it doesn't matter their emotional maturity because there are things that quickly make us change our opinion about a person. We, I am the first to admit this. If, if someone you know crosses me or does or says something or doesn't uh, live up to a way that I wanted, I notice I quickly can become, uh, have a differentiation in my emotions and my uh, viewpoint of them within that moment. Now, on the long-term scale, you know, obviously when we're born again and we believe Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, and we've repented of our sins, we love all people. And obviously we don't need to like all people, but we are to love all people. And if someone does something, the long-term benefit, we are not one who wants to curse other people when they cross us. Um, you know, the Lord has really helped me um, in that regard. The thing that happens, for me at least, is when something happens that I was not expecting or that disappoints me, I just begin to have a different viewpoint of that person. And it's something that I'm fighting continually, each and every day. Uh, but my emotions don't dictate the truth of who that person is, which they are made in the image of God. My emotions... Even though my emotions are continually wavering, it should not and it does not influence the fact that I love this person who is very close to me. Uh, whoever that might be. It could be family. It could be, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, friends. It could be someone we're dating. Whatever the case it is for you, we quickly change our perception in the moment based upon our emotions. And then we come back and then, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty. We look back and we say, why in the world? That really didn't matter in the grand scheme of things. And, uh, you know, as my boss says, you know, in six months from now, this is not going to matter at all. And that is so true. And even, you know, in, within the span of, you know, in a day, is this thing going to really matter? No. I mean, I can't even think of, uh, you know, squabbles or confrontation or, or things that people did that offended or hurt me, you know, uh, two or three months ago. I mean, if I think really deeply, maybe. But this is just to understand that emotions, we cannot rely on them. And it is better to obey. We know uh, better is a contrite and broken spirit than sacrifices. And it is better to obey the word of God than to give sacrifices. People can sacrifice all they want. But what God is after is the heart. And that's why in John 14, 15, the Lord Jesus Christ says, If you love me, you will keep my commandments. We see in 1 John, I think it's 3, I believe, that uh, you know God wants us to obey his commandments. And anyone who does not obey does not know him and is a ch child of darkness. Now, this isn't demanding perfection by any means. This is just demanding where is our heart at? Do we really want to obey God? Do we want to live in the true Christian faith, which is to get away from sin and get more closer and towards God? Or are we trying to make up our own Christianity where we're, where we're really getting away from God, even though we won't admit it, and we're trying to justify and excuse sin? God discerns the heart, and whatever the heart is desiring or, or making us do and making us think, that is dictating whether or not we truly love God. So many sermons are about God loving us. Well, what about us loving God? 
God. And that's why emotions do not outweigh obedience. God is looking for those who will walk humbly, uh, walk, uh, do justly, and be merciful to other people. He has given us so much. He's been so gracious and merciful, and we are commanded to extend that out to other people. But we need not be led by our emotions because emotions are always wavering. They're not concrete. We cannot trust them. And faith is not a feeling. It is an endurance in the truth. And if we're willing to endure in the truth, we are revealing to God that we have a desire to obey him no matter the cost. No matter how far we fall, no matter even on our worst days, if our heart's desire is to truly want to obey and live for God, that is enough. And of course, we can't know God without God first blessing us with his Holy Spirit in which we receive by believing that Jesus Christ is the only way, the, the only truth, the only life, and he is the only way to the Heavenly Father. And if we put our trust in him and we're willing to repent of our sins and say, God, I have done so much wrong. I, I am guilty of sinning before you. God, have mercy on me, a sinner. God is more than willing and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He can wash our sins and make them white as snow. He can, he can uh, bring that unconditional love and willingness to just forgive all and then bring us into the light and make us children of his. He desires to do that. He's done that with me. One of the worst sinners, he can do that with you. The question is, is are we willing to truly desire to obey God and not be led by our emotions.